monetary system. Okay? Now, it has got its own monetary system. Okay? Alright? Now, what, what that means is every country has got its own currency. But there are some currencies that are more dominant, like the US dollar. Right? You have got the Euro, you have got the British pound, the Japanese yen, the Chinese yuan. They are very strong currencies. Here in Southern Africa, the South African rent is very strong. Okay? So, so it is a dominant currency in Southern Africa as well. And throughout most African countries. Right? But the US dollar is the most dominant at the moment. Okay? Okay. Most goods, if you are buying goods internationally, they are not quoted in British pounds. They are quoted in US dollars. Okay? Because the United States has got the largest economy in the world since, I would say, since World War II. America was not the most powerful country before World War II. Right? Now, because of the Second World War, the, the United States of America became the most powerful nation and they spread their influence throughout the whole world. I'm sure you do history yourselves, right? Because, because of that, great, because of that, the US dollar has been, has been the most dominant currency for the last, I would say, 50 years or more. Okay? And uh, so it's important for you to know what are called exchange rates, how to convert one currency to another currency. Okay? A person who is traveling to South Africa going to Cape Town, right? If they are coming, say, from Germany, they will have their euros, probably in the bank account or this cash. The moment they, they ju jump off the plane at Cape Town International Airport, they have to go to a bureau to change if they want to buy in South Africa. Because you can't buy it in a shop with the euros. You go to a bureau to change or a bank, and then you say, okay, I've got my, my 100 euros. How much can you give me in your currency? So you need to know the what? The exchange rates. Okay. Now, those exchange rates, they involve a bit of some mathematics. Okay, it's part of financial maths. Yes, Kaze? Uh, don't they charge you for changing your money? We are not going to the issues about charges. Charges, obviously. Financial institutions, they are a business. So, they will charge you. You understand? They will charge you for, for exchanging your currency to whichever currency you want. Okay? Even if you have got a brother who is say, can I be attention? If you have got a brother in Canada or in Australia, if they send you money, okay, when you go and collect it, either by MoneyGram or Western Union or through a bank, that financial institution, which is the mediator, it has to be, to be paid for their service. So you have to pay some charges. Those are service charges. Okay. <laughs> the, the larger the amount, the more you pay in terms of service charges. All right, so you need to know how to do the conversions. So I'm talking from uh, personal experience, but also because uh, I read a lot. Okay, let's carry on. Here. All right, so exercise four, let's start with the first question. Can I have your attention? Please be aware that when you are doing questions on exchange rates, use common sense. Okay? Use common sense and your knowledge of ratios. So the question says, the, la the latest PlayStation game cost $645 in New York. Okay? What would it cost in South Africa if the rent dollar exchange rate is, is 12.25 cents? to the US dollar, okay? So here, the question is asking if someone had, had, their, had their rents, okay? How much would it cost, okay? So, okay, I prefer to use common sense and ratio. So, one US dollar, one US dollar is equivalent to 12 rand and 25 cents. Am I right there? 
That's what the patient is saying. Please look here. I'm going to use common sense. Now, we are given that six, uh, the PlayStation costs $645 in, in New York, which is in the United States. So, in terms of US dollars, the PlayStation costs $645. Now, in rent, how much is $645? So, I prefer to put X there. The X now is the amount in rent. Then, we need to use our knowledge of work of ratios. Do you think that this value of X will be more than 12, 12 rent and 25 cents? Yes. yes. Then, if that's the case, then it means X, make sure you pay attention, X will be equal to. Now, if you want to make it larger, we divide the largest amounts among the US dollar amounts. So we divide the largest by the smallest. So this will be 645 divided by 1 times the rent amount which we have on the right hand side. Are you following that? So how much do you get here? 7,925. and twenty-five cents. Okay, so this will be the amount that you get. So if you want to buy the PlayStation, the same PlayStation in South Africa, you have to make sure that you have got 7,901.25 cents. If you are in New York, you have to spend 645 US dollars for the same PlayStation. Okay. Now, for you to be able to afford this, because the goal is to get a larger amount than four grand and twenty bucks. If let's say here, if you have two dollars, is equal to that. How are you going to deal with that? Okay. Oh, oh, it will be here. Oh. So, the goal is to get a large amount than 12 grand and 25 cents. That's why I said you must use what? Common sense. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's do it. So the question says Jill is visiting a friend in California for a week. She has 3,000 rand to spend and we will exchange the money for US dollars. Okay? How many dollars will she have to spend if the one dollar exchange rate is 1128 cents to the US dollar? So, so, so here, so here, one US dollar is equivalent to 11 rand and 28 cents. Alright? But the person has traveled from South Africa to California in the US. They have got their rents in their pocket. And you can't buy with rents in America. So you have to go to a bank or a bureau to change, to change your money. So she has 3,000 rent. Here we think it's a lot of money. Let's see how much you get if you convert it to US dollars. <laughs> now, look. So the US dollar amount, let's call it X. Now, let's use common sense. If we use common sense, do you think we are going to get an amount which is more than a dollar? Yes. Okay? Now, remember, we have to use the value that we have in rents to determine the US dollar amount. So, if you want to get X which is more than a dollar, obviously, you have to divide 3,000 by 11,000, sorry, 11 rand. And 28 cents. You can multiply this by one if you want. What answer do you get? 265 dollars 95 cents. 200 what? 65 dollars 95 cents. Okay, this is what I'm playing with. Okay, this would be 200 and what? 65 dollars 95 cents. Okay, just around the two decimal places. 
So, so that, that's two hundred sixty-five dollars. Okay, that the person will get if they exchange their three thousand. Yes. Yes. One by one. Don't worry about the charge. Don't worry about the charge. Okay, Mugel, please be aware that this question is on calculation only. No charges involved. But if we include the charges, this amount will go down slightly. Yes. Uh, I can't say, but it will, it will go down slightly because of service charges. 